so <clears throat> in the previous video we have discussed about that the uniform circular motion in that video we discussed about that the angular displacement now let's talk about the angular velocity as you guys all know if, if a mo moving body is there that's why we have written here angular velocity so today we will discuss about the angular velocity with the help of the diagram it will easy to get understand so this is for example a body is moving and as you guys all know in the as you guys all know this is for example the you can say that a body is moving okay this is a position one of a body and after some time this is a body move here this is position two of a body so we can write here that the theta one and theta two okay so this is the t one the time one of the position one okay the time two of the position two so this is the initial time and this is the final time so you can see that this is the change with respect to the time with respect to the time there is change in theta that is called an angular velocity there is a change here you can see this is a change the change in theta that is called angular velocity theta is what angular uh, displacement so there is a change in the angular displacement is called the angular uh, you can say that the velocity okay so if we subtract the final final displacement from initial sub displacement so we will get a change in angular displacement so what is the definition the rate of change the word rate of change means there is a time is important okay so rate of change with respect to what time of angular displacement that angular displacement is called a angular velocity okay so there is a change in a angular displacement with respect to the time that is called a angular velocity so we can write here that angular velocity is equal to the is equal to the change in angular uh, displacement angular displacement upon time okay so angular velocity is basically denoted by the omega this is not w this is omega this is a change in displacement angular displacement we can write here this this is what this is the angular displacement so this is what change so change in angular displacement upon the change in time with respect to time so here you can see the dub, uh, omega upon here the change is there so what does it mean it means the uh, final will get minus with the initial so we can write here theta 2 minus theta 1 upon here is also change those so we can write here t2 minus t1 from that okay so here you can see that if you want to make a make a SI unit so what is the SI unit this is a formula okay if you want to make a this is a formula but if you want this so that can, that can be also a formula okay so if you want that the SI unit of angular dis, angular velocity SI unit so here you can see that as you guys all know the angular uh, you can say that the displacement unit we were we have considered that was the here you can see theta uh, change in the change in angular displacement so the unit of the change in displacement we have considered in the previous video that was radian if we talk about the time so that is second so we can write here that the this is the SI unit of the <coughs> angular velocity that is the radian upon second we can also write here that if uh, we can also write this radian second minus if it will move upward it will get inverse so the, this can be also the unit okay so <coughs> for example if uh, you can say the radian is not uh, if if uh, we have considered that radian is not appeared in any answer so we can also write here that the uh, omega is equal to s minus 1 that is second inverse inverse of the second okay so these three are the SA unit of the angular velocity <coughs> now one more thing is that that here you can see that the the unit of frequency is also this so angular velocity is also called the angular frequency this is an important point angular frequency just because of the both are having the same unit frequency is having the same unit angular velocity is having the same unit so we are considered angular velocity as a angular 
frequency so <clears throat> this omega which is the uh, i i will write omega everywhere so you will guys understand that this is we are talking about the angular velocity so omega is equal to the uh, first of all let me tell you that omega is also measured in omega is also measured in measured in here you can see the this is the you can say that the unit of the omega so here again the omega is also measured in the revolution per minute revolution per minute as you guys all know revolution the one complete round that is called a revolution okay so one complete round is there which means circumference is there so as you guys all know the circumference formula that was 2 pi r so we have, we have considered here 2 pi okay of a circle and minute as you guys all know that there will be written as a 60 so we can write here that the one revolution per minute is equal to the 2 pi upon 60 and the unit is a radian and this is a second so the unit is also radian per second here you can see that we have uh, considered this here the same unit is here so <clears throat> this is basically a vector quantity as you guys all know that angular velocity is all is a vector quantity okay so if you talk about the direction the direction the direction of angular velocity for example for example these are the two wheels two wheels okay one wheel is moving at the anti-clockwise and one wheel is moving at the clockwise this is the anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and this is the clockwise okay so here you can see that this is the point we have considered as a x-axis angular we always uh, know the direction of the angular velocity as a from the x-axis okay so you will determine the direction of the angular velocity by the help of the right hand rule right hand rule how let's see here you can see this is my right hand here you can see that this is the direction this is the anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise and you can see that the thumb rule is outward so we can write here that the you can say that this was is the the angular velocity is outward okay when the wheel is at the anti-clockwise or any sphere is at the anti-clockwise if you talk about this so here you can see that this is the direction and here you can see that the direction is the uh, you can see the clockwise so clockwise so here you can see that the right hand hand rule the thumb is at the inward so we can write here the the omega is inward okay so you can take the anti-clockwise as the example of that i'm i'm moving this cap this is what this is the this is a cap of uh, you can say that a pen is opening so we are we are open that and this is coming outward okay so this is what this is the anti clockwise if you talk about the clockwise so that is the you can say we are if we are tightening the uh, you can say the screw so we are tightening the screw so the screw will move inward so that can be example of the clockwise and the anti clockwise so the direction of the angular velocity is always determined by the right hand rule so in this video we have discussed about the angular velocity in the next video we will discuss about the angular acceleration okay